good evening. I'm dressed and ready to go. I don't know what I should do with my hair though. Like it's, is it too, is it too many? Like I'm ready to go early and on time, which is fantastic. I'm going to quickly run you through what I'm wearing and what I'm doing. These little cute earrings on, they're from Lavisa. This really cute necklace. Got this top from Princess Polly, but here's my issue. I only tend the upper half of my body because I'm wearing pants and I just couldn't be bothered. But this top kind of rides up, so I'm going to have to really keep an eye on that because I didn't tan my stomach at all. So that's a bit of a me issue. Um, and then I've got these pants because it's freezing and I'm actually wearing like these long boots underneath. And I also have my big fluffy jacket. So what I'm doing tonight, you may ask, I am going out for a friend's birthday. Um, she actually works with me and I'm so excited. And it's the first time we've all gone out together, minus Tilly. Rip. She's sick. I obviously work together Monday to Friday, but we haven't actually like properly had a girls night out in the town. I feel like our energies match really well and I'm just, I'm really excited for like a fun, a fun night. Um, I haven't had one since my birthday. Like I've kind of been a bit more low key. I'm trying to do like one weekend of drinking, one week odd, weekend off, like, or just not destroying my body every weekend. So I'm excited because tonight's the night I'm going to destroy my body. So Hence why this video is a get ready with me and then how I cure my hangover. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I have my bag packed. I'm bringing this big ass bag um, to Hannah's and she's going to be like, what the hell are you moving in? No, I am not. This light is really aggressive. Let me just... Oh, that's better. I just changed my ring light lighting and that's so much nicer and not so aggressive. My room's a bit of a mess at the moment. I've just got like crap everywhere. This is my parsley that I ate. My NARS blush was like leaking everywhere and I'm actually so mad about it. I need to bring this with me. I need to spray deodorant because I'm feeling very stressed from like running around. This is a lip color I'm wearing at the moment. It's like a nice like lip balm, but like a nice red that goes with the top I feel. And here's my issue. I would love to wear red lipstick, but one time. I went to an event and I kissed someone multiple times that night. Slay, like so slay of me. If you know the person, you know. And I was wearing red lipstick and I just obviously forgot that I was wearing it. And then the lights came on towards the end of the event. And I was like, oh my God, like I fully forgot I was wearing red lipstick. So I ran to the toilet to fix myself. But then this poor man had like red lipstick all over his face and it looked like a patch rash. So now I'm terrified, so I just go for lip balm, which isn't too aggressive. And I also feel like lip balms are a little bit easier, like, unless it's like a nudie pink lipstick, it's not a big of a deal if you don't top it up throughout the night. But red lipstick, if, you don't, if you're not on top of that shit, you're going to look a bit weird, like, throughout the night, if you know what I mean. So, this is a bad boy I'll be packing today. I need to put on deodorant because I'm literally sweating. I'm really excited for tonight, but it's going to be such a long night for me because I've been up since like six because now I get up really early for work. So my body clock was just like stressed that I was sleeping in and going to miss my alarm for today, but I didn't. So I'm going to be really, I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to, I'm just going to sit while I can, I guess, and just go on TikTok. Um, so here's a little update. My car might be a write-off. Um, I can't even really talk about it. It's such a shit situation. I just feel like I'm always having car issues. And I'm really not looking forward to it. So, it's not a vibe for me. What else has been happening? Um, update on this Fenty gloss. It's actually so good. It kind of tingles your lips a little bit. And I don't know if it hold, does that whole thing where it makes you look like you've got filler, but I'm just going to pretend like it does. Okay, I'm going to put a fun little montage on of tonight, so thoroughly enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm nervous. of 
unpacking this. Literally pains me. I'm not feeling well. This is a tequila for me and also those drinks that I had for pre's. was so sugary, like I literally had a stomach ache. Having those drinks and then the tequila. I was this close to vomiting in the Uber then. I was getting in a car after you've been on, like, had a big night out is just like hell on earth. I'm gonna shower and fix myself. That's step number one. Because I really like to be delusional. I feel like it helps me just pretend that I'm not hungover. The only thing I can smell right now is tequila. It's really not good. I'm meant to be going near the footy today, but that's definitely not happening. Go pies. Oh. God damn it, I really don't want to put this away. So sugary, I didn't even finish all four of them and I feel violently unwell because of them. Like, the what is the sugar in this? Damn it. Why did I pack so much stuff? Half dried my hair because I just can't be bothered anymore. Step number two is really, really crucial. Eye masks. I really like to be delusional every day, usually, but especially when I'm hungover. I like to think if I wash my hair, I semi-do my makeup if I have to go out, or I do skincare, then my hangover it doesn't feel as bad. I feel like if I have skincare and like my hair washed, I don't feel as awful. Also, washing your hair really does change the game. Or like if you live near an ocean, that cures your hangover for like a split second there. I don't feel amazing, but also I feel a bit better knowing that I'm not Deborah right now and I didn't go to bed at 5 a.m. <laughs> Silly girl. I really could go for like a Gatorade. That's what I need, like a hydrolyte. That's step number three. There's so many steps to curing my hangover and I don't know how many I'm, how many I can do. <laughs> Alfie, what are you doing there, little man? I'm spewing because this would have been a really good time if we had microwave popcorn because that's my go-to when I'm hungover. It's honestly God's gift. It's the best. And this ice roller is definitely something you need to invest in if you haven't got one already because it does really, really help with the hangover, that's for sure. Berry Hydrolyte is where it's at. Every other flavour literally sucks. Unfortunately for me, the tables have really turned and I have to go to the shops because I don't have my microwave popcorn and I just, I'm really craving it. It's the best thing to eat when you're hungover, I reckon, because it's salty, it's buttery. It's not like too feeling, but like when you're not really overly hungry and your stomach's a bit like queasy, it's kind of a good thing to eat. I would rate my hangover maybe like a 7.5 out of 10. Like I think if I had like two more drinks, I would be like not doing, mm, like not moving. But I'm feeling like I can function, which is a nice, a nice feeling to be honest. And I also haven't vomited, which is a really nice thing also as well. That's like way too much oversharing, but it just happens. Like, I'm going to be honest, like usually on a Sunday, I'm not feeling great. And I would, I, I'm quite proud of myself, to be honest. I feel like I did, like I, I made sure I ate a lot yesterday and I had a lot of water during the day. Anyway, let's go to the shops because I... I really can't be bothered. I look so rough right now. At least I did my eyebrows. Because if I run into someone, I'm literally going to die. Oh, sleeps. Let's go. Okay. Quick little haul time. This is what I got from Woolworths. Big ass bag. Alright. First up, obviously got the... I forgot to get a Gatorade. Oh no, that's actually, that is actually so annoying. Actually, you know what? I might have a can of Coke if there's one in the fridge. I really hope there's a can of Coke. Anyway, I got popcorn. Garlic bread, obviously for later. Cooking cream. Then I had some birthday money, which was just, God, it's just so good getting birthday money, isn't it? Because it just feels free. So first up, I got a, oh, um, a sheet mask. This is happy skin, and I feel like my skin deserves to be happy. It's vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and I just feel like this will be 
really, really what I need. Then I got a bunch of MCO Beauty skincare that I've been dying to try out. I got a face scrub. This is vitamin C um, for a luminous glow. Oh my god, a luminous glow. Jesus Christ. Um, cute. Really excited to try that. Then I got some concealer. Um, this is in light. They have a massive sale at the moment. Um, their skincare and makeup is like 40 to 50% off. I would highly recommend going as much as you would at like Sephora or Mecca and get like a bunch of products for cheap. So, slay. Then I got some toner. I'm really bad at like this part of my skincare step and I just feel like I should implement this into my daily routine. So this is um, a pore refining exfoliating toner. And I'm really excited to give this a go, to be honest. Um, I don't really know how to use it, but I just read the instructions and it says to use a clean cotton pad with toner and then gently apply to where your skin is needed. And it's kind of like breaking out. And I feel like I'm just like breaking out here and I just want to get rid of it. So really excited for that. Then I got the day and night face moisturizer. I just love their packaging. Like it's just simple yet effective. I just love all their products because they're like, natural fragrance free and also suitable for all skin types so really actually excited about this one it says it's lightweight non-greasy daily moisturizer then lucky last i got a hyaluronic acid vitamin c face serum and i'm really pumped about this one i think this is the one that mum has and i used it with my like roller and it, yeah okay yeah i've tried this one and look how cute it is i'm so excited I actually love MKBD with my whole heart, so I'm really, really pumped about all this, to be honest. Anyway, I need to go inside because Alfie's just waiting for me on the couch. Hi, buddy. I really hope there's a Coke in here, honestly. If there's not, I'm going to cry. I literally will cry. I don't know what the hell that top is doing there. Please be a Coke, please. Oh, fuck. Yes, 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 yes. This has quite literally made my day. The first sip of a Coca-Cola always hits different. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, and it's so cold. Wow. is all complete it's, it's the best thing ever when you're hungry story time last night i was getting the bus hello getting the bus and it was late for starters excuse me sir it's not for you um uh, we're getting the bus really needed to pee obviously couldn't pee then Got off at Melbourne Central because I was like, I'm literally about to piss my pants if I don't get off the bus. <laughs> so I go into Melbourne Central and the security guard's like, oh, just letting you know, like, we're about to close soon. I was like, no worries. Quickly went down, peed. Then when I get out of the toilet, this massive siren was going and this girl screamed and I was like, my first thought, why is this so hard to open? This couple were behind me and they started to panic too. So then I'm like picking up my pace as well. It was all good though because they were just shutting the building um, and the security guard, like, we thought we were trapped in there for a second because we couldn't see like the security guard on our level. So we went up and we were like, oh my Lord, are we stuck in here for the night? Thank God, like we were out of there and like he hadn't, he had an exit plan for us. Cause I was, I was panicking there for a second. I was like, I've got a event to go to. I hate this part of face masks. Like I just, I don't have the patience for it. So that was my traumatic experience start to the night. Why is this so hard? Why is the eye a bit so... Oh my god. Look good, feel good. What did Nile say? Look, something fab. He does like a whole skincare routine on Vogue. And that man knows what he's doing, honestly. He's got the right idea. And I like that he's like taking care of his skin. As all men should, honestly. Like, I don't understand why. Everyone is not lathering on sunscreen daily. Why everyone doesn't want to do these face masks, you know? It is really the best. Anyway, I'm going to let this sit. For how long? Leave on for five minutes or more. Okay, slay. Slay. Do 
Do you reckon it's like too early to make dinner now? What's the time? It's five o'clock. I really want to be in bed by like literally 8.30. But my headache is not going away from that tequila. And I'm going to blow your socks off with this pasta. Just you wait. This is my ride or die pasta and I'm really good at it. And I want you to know that I'm really good at it. Feel free to take some notes and jot down this recipe because it's insane. I am gonna sign off here. I don't have anything left to me to be brutally honest, but thank you so much for watching Thanks for getting ready with me and spending the day together It really motivated me actually it was quite helpful to do stuff with my day Even though it was going to the groceries, but sometimes it's just the small little wins, you know If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye